everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Hotel Transylvania 2! So, Hotel Transylvania 2 is from director Gindy Tartakovsky, hope I pronounced that right, with the cast of Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Selena Gomez, Andy Sandberg, Steve Buscemi, David Spade, I'm sure I've seen some others, and Mel Brooks. And the storyline for Hotel Transylvania 2 is that Mavis and Jonathan are now married. After they both get married, they now have a baby named Dennis. So of course, Dracula's very happy with his grandson, who is a half-human, half-vampire. However, Mavis wants to leave the hotel because she feels like it's not safe. So Dracula wants to try to bring out the inner monster out of his grandson to keep Mavis from leaving town. So going into Hotel Transylvania 2, I was actually looking forward to this because I liked the first Hotel Transylvania film that came out in 2012. I thought it was a fun, charming, funny movie. And also because Gennady Tartakovsky, I really hope I pronounced that last name right, he returns here to direct the sequel because if you don't know who he is, he's actually known for being the creator of the Cartoon Network shows Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack and got to work on other shows like The Powerpuff Girls and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. So all I wanted from the sequel is just to be just as much fun as the first, and honestly, that's pretty much what Hotel Transylvania 2 is. I honestly had a really fun time watching Hotel Transylvania 2. Just like with the first film, I thought it was charming, I thought it was fun, it was funny, and you know, I felt like it did do the job well at the end of the day. So of course, you have Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Selena Gomez, you have all of them voicing here, coming back, and they all do a great job voicing the characters just like they did with the original film. They all fit the characters well, they fit the personalities of the characters, and they all bring such high energy. You know, Adam Sandler is really great as Dracula. He really pulls off that Dracula voice so well. So. Um, two thumbs up to Adam Sandler with the Dracula voice. Of course, Kevin James is really good as Frankenstein. Selena Gomez as Mavis, Dracula's daughter. And then you have Andy Samberg here as Jonathan, who was also really good. And the same goes to David Spade as the Invisible Man. Steve Buscemi as Wayne the Wolf. And you have Keegan-Michael Key replacing CeeLo Green as the voice of the mummy. Now, the reason Keegan-Michael Key is doing the voice this time is Instead of CeeLo Green, for those that don't know, is because apparently CeeLo Green got arrested and he was on trial at the time they were making this one. So that's the reason why they got Keegan-Michael Key. And to Keegan-Michael Key's credit, holy crap, he sounded like CeeLo Green. And I'm a fan of this guy. You know, I love their show, Key and Peel, which I know has now recently ended, which I'm sad about that. Just like with the first movie, the animation is very colorful and very vibrant. It fits the zaniness of the character. The storyline was very well written. There were a lot of really good jokes to this movie. Some jokes that could fly over kids' heads because there are some very adult jokes and that's really cool. It has a blend of the humor for the kids to laugh, but a blend of the humor for the adults to laugh. And I really do like how they handled the storyline with the monsters having to try to bring the inner monster out of little Dennis. Really enjoyed that whole storyline and there was some wackiness that ensues. And of course, I would regret it if I did not mention the blob, Blobby in this movie. He's a character that doesn't speak yet he was just so gosh darn entertaining. Now my flaws with Hotel Transylvania 2 is that it does have some pacing issues and what I mean by that is that it does really rush. Particularly I would say the beginning and the end is where the film felt the most rushed. It felt a little rushed here and there in the middle but the beginning and the end is where I think they could have really worked the pacing better because the first 10 minutes of this movie, I'm not joking, it was Mavis and Jonathan getting married, then Mavis finding out that she has a baby, then Mavis actually getting the baby out of her, and then it's them fast forwarding to Dennis being five years old, and I'm watching this movie going, whoa, whoa, 
slow the hell down movie. Wow. And then as for the climax, I did laugh. I found myself enjoying it. But I do wish, just like with the beginning, they could have just slowed down the pacing. Some of the jokes in this movie didn't really work for me either. There's not really too much of that, however. It's just really here and there. And the movie does try to get dramatic a couple of times. It does feel a little bit awkward in all honesty. And then the last problem I did have is Mel Brooks as Vlad. I was looking forward to seeing Mel Brooks come into this movie. And there's a couple of times where the movie does mention him throughout the buildup. But he doesn't freaking show up until like the third act of the movie. The final 20 or 25 minutes is when you finally get to see Vlad. The character himself really felt wasted and I wish they could have used the character better. But overall guys, I really had a fun time with Hotel Transylvania 2. I pretty much feel the same way as I did with the first film. Maybe by a slight, just slightly the first film is better but I still really enjoyed this film and I think if you like the first movie you'll probably enjoy the second movie too because it is pretty much the same. So I am going to give Hotel Transylvania 2 a solid 3 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Hotel Transylvania 2. And also let me know what do you prefer so far, the first film or the sequel. And also, since this movie deals with monsters, let me know what's your favorite monster. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have bleh 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 tiger power. Bleh bleh bleh. Ah, just, just stop talking. Just, just Let's freaking stop.